All right, so that's the movie studio there. And, uh, and it shows you the pier. That's that's you. That's right over there. So you're here, all right? Yeah, there. Well, you know, it helps to do this research before you go on a travel. <laughs> but they give you a map. Look, it's right there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, not there. There. <laughs> all right, good luck. You know, follow the map. Movie studio's that way. Right over that way. Can't miss it. <laughs> Gotta help out the tourists, everybody. Yep, tourists at the beach of Los Santos. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. And today we are going to get ourselves something great for the beach, I think. We're going to get ourselves an ultralight glider. Woohoo. Yeah. So let's see if we can do that. Mm. So it's just at the end of a sale, so I thought I'd save the tiny bit. But the ultralight glider is actually pretty cheap, so you don't really have to worry too much about that in the first place. But, you know, if you can get it on sale, why not, right? All right, so there it is, Park of Smuggler's Run. Only seats one, and it's not exactly a glider, it's an ultralight. So it's actually got this uh, little, I don't know, three-wheeled trike bike kind of attached to it, which makes it a powered glider. It's pretty cool. It's usually, I think, around, uh, let's see, yeah, 665000 And after you've done a, a few, just a few um, um, cargo missions, uh, sourcing your missions through your hangar, you'll actually get the price to drop down to 500000 which is worth it. And we're getting it on 40% off on top of that for 300000 So why not? Yay. Something for the beach. Ultralight. What red-blooded American hasn't gazed at an eagle as it soars through the empty sky? Utterly serene perfectly at one with its environment, refined by millions of years of evolution into the epitome of aerial dexterity and lethal precision, and wondered what could be more majestic, more dignified, more transcendent. Well, now you know. <laughs> I'm not sure that's true, but you know, it's definitely a unique vehicle. Great for uh, sightseeing. Great for being a tourist. Yeah. Buy now. Purchase pending. All right. Ultralight will be delivered to the hangar shortly. Thank you very much, Letus. All right. Nice. Let's go have a look. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if I can get it uh, delivered to the beach for us. Mm. <laughs> but I'm too impatient to wait. Let's go get it. <laughs> Actually, so we're in a different vehicle. Vehicle's being delivered. We don't need to be in that company right now, after all. It does increase your bills just a little bit. At least if you have places like I do. So it's a good thing not to be in them if you don't need to be. Then you can avoid some of those uh, employee bills in the MC and uh, and uh, some of the minor bills on the uh, company. All right, up, up and away. I do love my pyro and the Nakoda. And my other aircraft. <laughs> the Starling's really nice too. That's the one downside to the Pyro and the Nakoda is no bomb bay. And the Starling definitely has you has you there, so you can use bombs. Yeah, not everybody's into them, but I find they work really well. It's better to have them than not, than not to have them, in my opinion. It'd be nice if these ones had the option to make them a dive bomber, though. Even if it was just one bomb at a time. Woo! <laughs> Uh, maybe a little too low. <laughs> Practice. Practice makes perfect. Sometimes. <laughs> our new ultralight is now confirmed as having been delivered to our hangar storage. Alright, I'm going to head into hangar 3497. Hopefully gently. Yeah, the new vehicles are uh, tough. So you can head right into your hangar there. Just like that if you need to. Especially when you're carrying a cargo. It's good to practice that. All right. Now. 
looks like we might have run out of room. We might have to move some stuff around in here. Okay, there we go. Just had to do a little bit of minor reorganization, everybody. Get all my aircraft back out again. Put away my personal buzzard. Okay. There it is. Our new ultralight. Three-wheeled. Yeah. Like I said before, compared to the Starling with its wobbly two wheels, it's kind of nice to get three wheels. <laughs> Alright, it's got the little bars and everything on there. It's great. Nagasaki Ultralight Planes. She's got kick right off the bat. More than I expected. In a sense, more than the uh, Starling's got without the boost. Nice. We're airborne. Ooh. And it actually moves the bar and everything. That's awesome. I've got our direction down there. We've got our altitude. Which reminds me, the uh, the glider only goes to 4,800 feet, just so you guys know. You know, unfortunately, it does not go up to the maximum height, which is usually around 8,000 feet. Yeah. Woohoo. Nice. And because it's a glider, you can obviously run it without the engine. If your engine gets uh, damaged, destroyed, or if you just want to turn off, like we are here. And then you can enjoy the sunsets in peaceful quiet. Yeah, but it's still gliders, so you're able to fly all around the map. Generally speaking, with this aircraft, um, I don't think you could exactly until this one came along, but you can basically fly indefinitely with this. You know, with no power or anything. If you get good enough at it, you can stay in the air. Which is awesome. Very cool. Alright, well let's take her in and get her upgraded. Now, some people may not know, but some people do. This is actually a sort of stealth aircraft. <laughs> One of the first. I wouldn't go suggesting you use it, though. No weapons. Ooh. In we go. So you cannot use any weapons on it, apparently. Um, there is upgradable weapons, as we're going to get to. Or, well, gun, anyway. But, but you cannot use your handheld weapons, which is too bad. You'd think you'd be able to whip out a pistol sitting in there, right? You'd think. Well, let's modify. Armor, why not? Make it a little bit more resilient to tree hits and things like that. 37,500. Countermeasures. Oh, it can take countermeasures, so that's good to know. <laughs> Giving it some flares, that's awesome. That should give you the edge of the dog fight. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna need that, Charlie. Dog fighting in this thing. That's exactly what I'm getting it for. <laughs> Engine level upgrade, why not? Be faster, right? 25,125. Handling. Okay, so we've talked about this with the other aircraft. Basically sports the mix of the smooth and racing. Okay, so racing's your most agile, but to some people it can be a little crazy, a little too sensitive. And if you want smooth flying, smooth handling is the way to go. And if you want the best of both worlds, I'd probably recommend most of the time sport handling. Now, I'm a, kind of a crazy pilot sometimes, so <laughs> I'm going to pick the race handling. For 26,250, just for that tiny little bit of extra agility, if I need it. Alright, we'll get to libraries in a second. Weapons. 7.62 millimeter gimbal turret. Alright. Now this turret is pretty much useless. You guys can save money if you're collecting one of these for, for show. You can don't you know you don't need to get it. So it's, uh, it's on sale right now, so it's normally more. And it's 146,250. I'm gonna get that. Because I want the gun. So you guys might want it too. That said, it's a fairly useless weapon. You know, it's it's like the, some of those vehicles, the cars with guns on them. I mean, you have to try just to kill an NPC. <laughs> but, well, I'll take a gun to no gun. Why not? All right. And propellers. Okay, so this is where we get into uh, it being a, uh, a quite, kind of sort of a stealth aircraft. And that is if you uh, upgrade the propeller. So there's the extended prop blades for 200,000. That one does not do it, though. And then there's the muffled carbon prop for 315,000. And this reduces detection on the radar during initial acceleration and when freely gliding at slow speeds. Yeah. No description on the other one. So basically, you you go off the radar when you're um, when you're initially ex accelerating. Hmm, initial acceleration. 
I'm not sure what they mean by that. I guess when you first get going. But basically, it's when you're going along, gliding slowly. You can basically fall off the radar, which is nice. Maybe people left you alone, leave you alone a little while while you're doing your thing. You can do some incognito missions this way. It's not very good, though, in general, because you're a big glider. So people can definitely see you if they're looking for you, right? But still, that's cool. Off the radar a little bit. 315,000, sold. Okay, library. Minotaur Investment and Finance. Spenders. Spenders Department Store. Prolapse Train Hard. Still thinking. E. Cola. Deliciously infectious. <laughs> and the Sprunk, the Essence of Life. Cool. Flow Water. Mm -hmm. Merryweather Security. I think a lot of people like that one too. You can change the colors too, of course. Merryweather Camo Fractal. Merryweather Geometric Camo. Merryweather Winter Camo. And none. I don't know. Do we want flow water? Hmm. It's for water use. It's very rainbowy though, I guess. I don't think the paint job's going to be able to change that. Kind of like that fractal alone. Or geometric, I should say. Fractal's nice though. It's an important decision. Yeah, beachy types. Yeah, sure. We'll go with the geometric, why not? Fifteen thousand and forty eight dollars on sale. And into our resprays. And it has a primary and secondary, which is good to know. To the secondary first this time. And that looks like it's all your bars and everything, which is nice. Congress so you can see all the uh, the different funding. things. The gas tank in there changes color, as well as the secondary on the glider. Hmm. Chroming it out. Chrome doesn't really do much on there, does it? Doesn't weird. I guess it kind of gives it a weird shine, though, doesn't it? Hmm. How exactly do you want to explode people? <laughs> yeah, so you can make this all dark for nighttime, you know, stealth attacks <laughs> of the terrible sort, or uh, or colorful. Yeah, but I'm thinking actually about chrome. Weirdly enough, I think I kind of like that. I do not know why. But it kind of goes with that because it doesn't change it to being like other aircraft. It just kind of uh, blends right in on the uh, mesh. It kind of makes the mesh shine a little bit, but it's still a mesh rather than metal chrome, if you know what I mean. Now, do I want chrome on the bottom too? It doesn't add to the yep. aerodynamics, but it looks good. Twelve thousand five hundred. So now we're all chromed up, which is actually not too bad. That's a lot of bars and stuff anyway, right? They might be chrome in real life on some of them, so why not? All right, everybody, that is our new ultralight. Let's take her out. Exit the hangar. Mm, no too late to catch the LJT. Hey, it's LJT. I'm busy, LJT. Oh, whoa. Are we ever faster now? It just goes right away. Uh, with the muffled proper prop equipped on this aircraft, you'll be off the radar when gliding or accelerating gently. <laughs> so there's our flares. I think that's hilarious flares on the glider. Able and disable it. Oh yeah, and it kind of changes the view as you guys can see. See? That's not me moving the camera, that's uh, the gun. Bruzy. Come on, bud. You're missing out here. <laughs> you need some BST. <laughs> no, I'm not missing out, Bruzy. I don't need your juice. BST. Fire it back on. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah, he still calls. He calls all the time. He's usually in between things, but not today. Not today.
Wow, she's a great little glider, actually. Easily maneuverable. It's almost like you're floating in the sky. The camera views are a little funny with it, though, but it lets you see it, like these angles, it goes to it really easily. So I think it's supposed to help you. And I think it does, actually. But it's kind of weird at first. Can we go over, over? Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> All right. On oh, the turret. The turret is a turret. So it actually does turret. Well, that's something I did not know. So the gun is aimable. That's awesome. I like that. Then he reaches back and turns it back on again. All right. I gotta switch over to my mouse here for a second. Yeah, it works, but it's kind of kind of weird. As you guys can see, it tends to block itself when you're trying to shoot. Let's try it this way. Yeah, first person's not bad. Kind of. Like again, this cannon's not the best, but... <laughs> That's funny. But it's almost like it's easier, actually, with my controller. Weird. Well, that cannon is uh, definitely more useful than I would have thought. And that's what it looks like in Chrome, believe it or not. It gives it a little bit of a shine, but generally dark. Kind of cool. All right, let's try landing on that beach there. Not that beach, that beach. <laughs> Nice. That's ah, super easy. And look, whoa, whoa. See how agile that is on the ground? Now, that might, some of that might be my handling. But still, that's super agile on the ground. Which is great. Some aircraft are a pain when you get them stuck. This, uh, as long as it's not too damaged, you should have no problems getting it unstuck. And away we go. So I guess that's why they let you enable and disable the camera, or the uh, gun, just so that you can have the uh, turret view. Because once you do that, the camera kind of changes. See, now I'm like staying on there, now that I'm on the gun view. It's kind of good to know. So if you're trying to watch somebody, like this house coming up, you know, instead it'll let me focus on that instead of flying the, the aircraft. You do have to watch out because you're flying the aircraft, but, but if I wanted to shoot up Devin Weston's house down there, it makes it much easier. Oh, can't shoot behind you. Can't shoot below. Yeah. Shooting arc is roughly... Actually, not too bad, though. Roughly bad. Yep. So you pretty much can't shoot just from here to there. And then... Oh, it's staying dark. Must depend on the angle. Yeah, it's got to be downwards. But the back left and right aren't the greatest, but in front it's good. And I do love that first person view. That's awesome. Gives you a sense of floating in the air. going to be at shooting things though for this kind of thing but you know you can it's better than I thought it was
Beach Patrol. <laughs> Just a second. Party pooping beach patrol. <laughs> okay. Ah, LJT again. What? Hey, LJT here. You know that the length of your prison sentence is based on the quantity yeah. of cocaine you're caught with? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I'm spending the money, though. Don't worry, I'll be back to make some. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if I'd suggest fighting real players like this, <laughs> but maybe lifeguards. They might stand no chance at all. <laughs> all right. All right, everybody. Well, let's take it up and more in its uh, natural habitat, a sunny beach. <laughs> Now, there is other natural habitats for this, in the mountains and whatnot. <laughs> but a beach is definitely a place where you might see something like this. <laughs> sorry, sorry about your umbrella. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a new glider, new first time glider. No license needed, can you believe that? <laughs> Uh, Woohoo! All right. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. So I think, hope you guys like that. I know I definitely did. A lot of these vehicles lately, I've definitely liked them more than I thought I would. Yeah, which is always good. Like I said, it's always better to be happier after you spent money than less happy. <laughs> but I, like I said, I bought this as a fun toy. That's what I recommend it for you guys as, not as a uh, need to have vehicle, but as a fun one. And like I said, it's kind of a novelty, you know, it's different that you're out there in the breeze and you can see the world like this, you know, it's pretty awesome. And you've got the uh, slight half kind of sort of stealth to it, <laughs> you know, and that gun's actually a lot better than I thought it was. Like I said, it's kind of cool that you can actually, actually aim it, you know, it's not just calls it a turret, it actually works. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Be nice if Rockstar thought this way with a whole lot of other things. Yep. And it's got nice, easy-to-read gauges. Yeah, it's great. I like it. I like that a lot. Woohoo! Feels like something you'd uh, find near the California beach. Feels right. All right. Well, take care, everybody. We'll see you again next time. I'm the Missing Sock. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's free, and it really helps us out. Thanks a lot, guys. Glad to have you all with us. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go do the new news of today, now that the new day is starting. Rockstar will have their new, their new stuff. I haven't seen anything pop up about a new vehicle, so I think it's another week with no new content. Boo. Well, I guess it's a good thing we got some new stuff already. Maybe we'll see what's on sale for the coming week. Ooh, yeah, see, that's great. Way more agile than I thought. Up and over. Alright, so I hope you guys liked our ultralight. We'll see you again next time soon, everybody. This one's different. Ooh. Usually when you're in cinematic and you push forward, it gives you a side view so you can see where you're going. But uh, this one does not. You push forward and that's what you get. All right. <laughs> Guess she didn't like it. <laughs> awesome. Take care, everybody. Thanks, lead us travel for our new ultralight. Chromed. Oh, oh, don't fall over. <laughs> uh. mm. They didn't like that. <laughs> I'll teach them to like my new gliders. <laughs>
But yeah, it's kind of cool. Apparently you can uh, use it pretty well at the ground level. Not the greatest, but better than I would thought. It's got a decent range. Ooh, yeah. Works like a lot of the other smugglers run machine guns. They're pretty powerful. Uh-oh. Oh, the current pulled me in. No. <laughs> no. I wanted to see if we could get back out, but nope. Now that said, if your engine is dead, you can glide if I had this up in the air. Or some way to get it there. See? See, I could have fixed it. Yeah, it's one of the few vehicles you can actually push around. Oh, oh we gotta go. Alright, see you again next time, everybody. Stay awake. Stay awake. I told you, I ain't going back to jail. <laughs> No! No! What can we give him? Do I even have any gas? How do I not have gas? Huh. Yeah, it's smart not to buy it, but I thought I did have some. Oh, I probably have it hidden in my loadout. Yeah. <laughs> no! Oh, what's up, LJT? Hey, it's LJT. Yeah, what's up? We've got bales of high-grade San Andreas Kush just sitting on the factory oh. floor waiting to go moldy. Okay, so much all right. Fact that we yeah. can't harvest anymore. Yeah, I know, I know. Sell something I know. and get this business moving. Uh, I know, I know. I'm kind of busy, but uh, I've been spending money. I'll be there. <laughs> and, uh, da -da -da -da. Gotta go. See you guys. <laughs> Morse. Uh, Glider had some kind of water problem. Morse Mutual Insurance. How can we help you? It's late for a thousand. I Perfect. think we can handle that. Good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, they jammed us. <laughs> no. No. Red. <laughs> they get out of that car pretty fast. Oh, I was hoping to block them. What do you think? Think we're gonna get these guys, or you think I'm gonna die? Let's see, at this point, it's 50-50. Unless I heal up, but I'm not gonna. Come on up to the go, go. Takes it a moment to get going, but it's not too bad. All right. We'll let Merriweather Security take the rap for it. <laughs> take care, everybody. See you again soon.